uh, got off work early today and went down to damn damn. Uh, didn't have no fishing poles or nothing, but I had my cooler with me. And uh, just gonna see if anybody was catching any fish. Just being nosy. Got down there and uh, they were throwing their cast nets out, catching shad. And they were catching strappers, good 10, 15 pound, 20 pound strappers, bluegill, bass. Fish were hitting like crazy. Uh, wish I had a pole with me. But a uh, couple of Hispanic Americans down there uh, offered them a $20 bill to fill up my little cooler here. And whoop, I broke it. I've already bagged some of them up, but they, they filled her to the rim for me. Took them about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I just sit there and watched. And, they filled her up for me. I was going to show y'all how I freeze them. Uh, that's what I did last year. It's all I fished with all year. Everybody says, uh, well, all the big dudes on there, hey, don't use frozen bait, don't use frozen bait unless you have to. Uh, well, in the winter time, I got to. Uh, I don't know where else to get bait. So, like I say, last year I done the same thing. I went down there and filled the cooler up froze it had about 30 bags and used it all winter long caught catfish all winter long and i'd rather take frozen bait any day is it's not having bait at all or just use worms or you know whatever you can find bluegill or whatever i'd rather have frozen shad as anything as, as nothing uh, but I'm going to vacuum seal some of the bigger ones, and there's a couple of little skipjack in here, small ones. I'm going to vacuum seal them, uh, but here's the process I do for uh, just freezing regular old shad where I can have them. I won't use these during the summer much, but like I say, this winter when bait's hard to find, I'll have a freezer full. This is how I do it. I take me. I usually put five in a bag. I usually take five fishing poles, so I'll put five, five, what is that? Six, five, six inch shads. I'll put five of them in one bag. I can get three baits out of this. Well, really, two good ones. But on five poles in the wintertime, that's good. But I'll wash them. Then I set them straight up in the ridge of that there bed. Get all the slime and junk off of them. Then after I got my five air, I told Mama I was going to use some of her paper towels, but she said, no, no, I ain't. I'm running out. Use this towel. So I don't think she knew what I was going to use it for, but oh well. 
<laughs> Did I put them on here? Paddle dry. Take me a good, I do get good Ziploc baggies. Stuff them in there. Shake them. I do try to get all the air I can out of them. I'll zip it about halfway and then I'll push and squeeze and roll. Try to get all the air I can out of them, but that's good enough, man. It worked last year, it'll work this year. Then put them over here. And that's the process. We just do it over and over and over because they got a lot of fish here. But now some of these big ones, look at that big old shad. That and all this vacuum seal ham, that's a fishing trip right there. I can get enough bait off of him to, for a whole trip. There is a bluegill or two in there. I'll use them too. Last year, I cut up a few. I cut them up and then froze them. That didn't work out too good. They freezer burned and it's got all mushy and stuff. So I found it's better to freeze them whole. Cut them up once they're thawing out. Seemed to work a lot better for me. Wish I could have vacuum seal all of them, but that's too big of a pain in the butt. If they were skipjack, I would. A lot of work. Fishing's worth it, though. It's worth it. When you catch them. When you ain't catch them, it's just damn old work. There we go. Rock and roll. Got some of them in the gallon bags, and I've got some in the small bags, and then in the bottles. Got this. Vacuum seals. There we go.